Okay, so this preset's available in my new preset pack for Serum called Dreams, and the link to that is in the description. Okay, so we start pretty much with just a plain old uh, saw wave. And I've got this uh, envelope one, which is the amp envelope, set down with the sustain down to zero and the decay at 2.29 seconds. And I've got this um, the shape of the curve just set to like a bit of a rounded shape. And the fine tune on this one is set to minus 19 on the saw wave. And you'll see why in a second. Okay, then we have this filter, which is being controlled by envelope two with these settings, 2.27 second uh, decay, and then 81% sustain. And then I've assigned it to the cutoff here on this Moog Low 18. And uh, you can see how it just over time it slowly removes a bit of high end from the saw wave. Okay, then we've got the second oscillator, and this one's set to fine tune plus 27, and that's just to make sure that these are not exactly the same pitch. And you can see if I set them to zero, you get a bit of a different sound to when they're um, when they're spread out. Uh, when they're detuned a bit, then you get like a, I don't know, just a nicer, grittier sound. Okay, then this is set to unison 13, and the detune is brought down to 0 0.06. And if you're following along, you might notice that yours sounds a bit wider, like this. Mine sounds like this. And that's just because I brought down the width of the oscillators, and the reason for that is the original sounds kind of mono, it's not a very wide stab. But if you wanted to make this your own and make it wide, then by all means you can do that by making it wider here in the global tab. Okay, so that's it for the main part of the sound um, source. Next we're going into the distortion. Uh, next we're going into the effects. And the first one is distortion here. We've set it to tape saturation, uh, enabled the pre-filter um, over here, and then it's just set to band pass and to 4.8 kilohertz and a Q here of 0.2. And that's because we want to band pass and basically just distort the high end of the sound. We don't want to distort the entire thing. So if I turn this on, you can hear how it's just distorting the high end. If I turned off the filter, you get quite an ugly distortion because it's kind of distorting all the low end rather than the high end. So that's the reason for the preamp. Uh, not the preamp, the pre-filter. And then I'm controlling the drive using envelope 2. So right at the start of the sound it's got all that it's like the distortion's really high and then it kind of fades down as the sound fades away and the reason for that is um sometimes if you distort something it kind of kills the dynamics of the sound you'll hear like tails instead of them fading out gently they kind of are super loud and then they suddenly drop off um, so serum's really handy because you can automate the drive and then we're going into reverb, and that's set to hall uh, with a bit of a longer decay, a bit of a low cut filter, a little bit of a high cut filter. And then the mix is being slightly mixed out when the sound starts using this envelope here. So I've dragged it onto that. Um, and then it fades back into around like 43%. And that gives us like this nice um, airy reverb. And then we're going into this filter, and the filter is just doing some filter drive. Basically, that's the reason for me using it. And I've got the cutoff set to 2.8 kilohertz. I found that was like the nice sweet spot. If I play this and kind of exaggerate the resonance, you'll hear which part this filter is distorting. So it's that characteristic that you're hearing over there that this is bringing out a little bit in the sound. Okay, and then we're going into the EQ. The EQ is just taking out a bit of the sub there because we're gonna be adding our own sub later. And it's also giving a little boost um, here at uh, 1.9. So if you set it to this curve over here and just boost, I think it was, yeah, 7 dB, uh, 
then it just boosts that frequency over there and you can hear if I exaggerate it that's the part of it that it's it's kind of bringing out so without that with a lot more character okay and then this uh, lastly this compress is just basically a limiter at the end of the chain to stop it from clipping with the ratio all the way to the right it turns into a limiter okay and so what you'll notice now is that the sounds kind of missing sub um, so I just enabled a sub and set it to direct out and set the level to 38% you can set that to whatever you want um, but yeah I just did that because we kind of lost the sub before okay so again this preset's going to be part of my dreams preset pack if you've already bought it you will get an update shortly with the preset in it um, and if you haven't brought, bought it you can go and check it out at basicwaves.com or you can just click on the link below thanks for watching hope you found this useful and i'll see you in the next one